hey you, it's Lexi, how you doing? So, my nine most Instagrammable spots in Plovdiv. Now, I was in Plovdiv a few weeks ago and I think that there are just so many underrated places and spaces there that could be utilized for really nice photo opportunities and just all around it's a great place and I would recommend that everybody goes. So let's get into the video. Good morning. So we are on our way to do a bit of sight in the break of day because we want some more, well I want some more photos where it's just me because during the day obviously everybody wants the same photos that you do so the locations tend to get a little bit crowded. First we're going to um, Alyosha Monument to see the city from the top of one of the hills and yeah. The aqueduct was originally built by Romans. They were really expensive to build and the fact that Plovdiv has two of them just goes to show how important this place used to be. Number two, Alyosha, a Soviet soldier on one of Plovdiv's six hills. You can see the whole city from up here and it's quite a spectacular view. Personally, I got some really beautiful photos up here catching the sunrise and I would definitely recommend to come early because it's quite a walk to get to the top and you really don't want to miss the golden hour. Next is the Church of the Holy Mother of God. I didn't really stop here, but it's pretty aesthetic. The next and probably my favorite Instagrammable spot is the Hizze Kapia Gate. Why did they keep that gate? So they kept this gate because the, these two walls were falling down. The Ottomans were really known for not wanting to use any previous architecture of any previous people that had been here, for like the Romans, the Greeks. Um, well, they decided to keep this wall, uh, which I believe was built during the Roman times, because, yeah, these two walls would have fallen down. So, <laughs> they kept it. The old town has these beautiful old-style houses and cobbled streets. Unfortunately for me, there was a lot of renovation going on, but every alley is picturesque. Oh, Lexi, tell us, what is the story of that mosque? So, the bricks are old, the cement is new. Um, so again, it's not an original um, mosque, it wasn't built by the Ottomans. They repurposed a church building. Um, there's some red bricks in there that they think, and they speculate, came from the aqueduct. However, who really knows? Not us. <laughs> Hello people of the internet. I have a question for you, especially the Bulgarian ones. Yeah, anybody we from Plovdiv. A lot of people standing like that in attention. Just standing like this. Just just I like don't that. Do it anymore. <laughs> and uh, probably they were looking towards the sun. Yeah, it looked like they were looking at the sun. And they did not look like they were enjoying the sunrise. So let us know if you know why they did it. It's 19th of September. Yeah, and they were Sunday. doing this at like 7 o'clock in the morning, just staring blankly into the horizon. It was really strange. So if you know what they were doing... Oh, also, all dressed in white. I don't know if that helps. But not all of them. Most of them dressed in white, especially over the Aliosa Hill. Yeah, so many, so many. Tell us what you think these people are doing, because we have no idea. And we're very curious. Milio, an urban legend. When he lived, he was really loved by all despite being known as the local crazy man. But nowadays, if you rub his knees, apparently you'll have good luck in your romantic life. And if you whisper a wish into his ear, it is thought that it will come true. Number eight, the ancient theater of Plovdiv and by far one of the most Instagrammable spaces I have seen. <laughs> So the place reminds me of Philippi a lot. Only the goal is fake, everything else is ancient. The goal is fake to maintain the acoustics in the theatre. 
So it goes that this was actually in somebody's backyard and he was digging and this is what they found and it was all a, a jumble and it all got put back together. The only thing that's not original is that wall in the back there and as he said it's to stop the acoustics from going down into the rest of the city. <laughs> Just finished having a look around the theater, the old yeah, theater. Yeah, because students IDs with you people. Yeah, again, another thing, student IDs. And it's not like it's going to break the bank to come to a place like this. It's like Bulgaria is actually pretty cheap. It was for love for the both of us, but a student card always helps. <laughs> Finished with the photograph spots and now we're having a walk through Kapana on the search for breakfast. Us and the pigeons. Yeah. So Kapana basically is an old Bulgarian word meaning trap and the reason it's called uh, Kapana, this like old part of the city, is because they built it like a maze and it was originally like a bazaar and they would so they built it like a maze so that you would get stuck inside and spend all your money on things that you needed as well as things that you didn't need and it's definitely a city inside the city highly recommend you come it's where all the food and drink spots are All right, so that concludes my list of nine places that um, I wanted to show you. However, I'm going to throw in a bonus place. So place number 10, Nevet Tepe, which is on top of one of the hills that uh, make up the city of Plovdiv. And yeah, it's a very common place for uh, locals to go at sunset where they can watch the sunset over the city and it's just really beautiful. A thing that's also like really popular in Plovdiv is something called an ailak and that means to chill out and relax. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos that I post every single week. Bye! Seven, seven, twelve, seven. You know. Oh, dude, 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 I need to remember where I am. <laughs>